What makes indie games stand out and excel in the gaming sphere is how they explore new concepts despite having limited means and resources. Black Book provides an interesting concept, as it mixes the mechanics of a turn-based card battling RPG with elements of point-and-click adventure games. The result is an experience that I found myself genuinely invested in. I slept poorly last night, been waiting, hoping for you to return. In Black Book, the player takes the role of Vasilisa, a young orphan woman who is destined to become a witch after being taught the craft by her grandfather, Old Igor. However, she refused this fate in favor of being with her beloved, going so far as to eventually marrying him. But sadly, things aren't happily ever after, and he unfortunately took his own life and found himself sent straight to hell. Unable to accept this outcome, Vasilisa becomes a witch and obtains a relic known as the Black Book, a demonic artifact containing spells and the power to grant the wishes of those who break all seven seals of the book. This mission takes Vasilisa on a journey to solve the mysteries behind the seals in hopes of reviving her lover. The narrative is well written and presented with full voice acting with Russian and English dubs. The voice acting itself is decent and adds charm to the experience. However, I noticed that the English dub didn't often sync well with the written dialogue. A few characters join Vasilisa along the way, such as Old Igor, Nikolai, and Proshka, who each have their own personality and effect on the narrative. A few twists line the journey, which are based on the choices players make during the story. Black Book includes Slavic mythology and folklore in its narrative, and luckily, there's a handy encyclopedia available that fills up over time, providing a great resource to explore said mythology. There are also hint options during the dialogue that translate some Russian words, ensuring the player gets the appropriate contextual information to fully experience the narrative. Additionally, there are scenarios where you're tested on your knowledge that nets experience points should you get the correct answer. These queries can be challenging to understand without checking out the encyclopedia. However, you can opt in for hints, but doing so will lower the experience gained. Admittedly, the visual style is somewhat rough. The character models look minimalistic, especially when compared to the well-illustrated artwork. However, despite this, the various locations are breathtaking in ambiance and coloration. Further, the soundtrack is well composed, consisting of several atmospheric tracks with entrancing vocals that complement the setting relatively well. Black Book's gameplay has you explore the rural countryside of Russia, as you are given main objectives with optional side quests. These are given by the visitors of Old Igor's house, all whilst Vasilisa must work towards breaking the seals of the Black Book. This requires you to head to various areas on the map. Along the way, you'll run into random people or events that require your attention, such as meeting other villagers in distress, or discovering new items and demons. While the exploration works well, some of the mandatory story events prior to the main area felt unnecessary, which resulted in the game becoming lengthy and scattered with moments of tedium. I would have appreciated it if there was a way to visit the more relevant areas, as that would improve the game's pacing significantly. During exploration, you are given choices that may alter the future. Some choices influence the morality system that affects notable parts of the narrative, such as the ending. This system counts the number of sins you have committed by making questionable choices, such as sending out demons to torment villagers. But some choices are tougher than others. For example, if you don't send out those demons to torment other villagers, they will instead torment you with negative status effects or debuffs. It can be difficult not to sin, as making morally correct choices means you have to manage more of the demons you have around. Later on in the game, you can find certain items and skills to keep the demons from tormenting Vasilisa. I would have preferred a method to send out demons to torment villagers during exploration, as some can join you as you level up. Black Book's combat is turn-based and allows you to pick up to 4 spells from your hand and draw from up to 33 spell pages to use during your turn. Black spells are used for offense and debuffs, and white spells are used for defense and buffs. These are divided into orders and keys, respectively. You can also use items, and if you are accompanied by a companion, they can perform a skill that's unique to them, which has its own cooldown timer. Combat can be rather challenging, especially during the puzzle battles, which gives you a preset deck to solve puzzles and handle certain encounters on some of the greater difficulties. On the lowest difficulty, you can choose to skip battles, which is a neat inclusion in terms of accessibility. As you break the seals of the Black Book and progress, more powerful spells become available to you. Some have additional effects, such as boosting your power when paired with spells of the same name or color. On top of that, you can also learn various skills from a few different skill trees by leveling up and gaining those skill points. These features offer a few ways to strategize around certain encounters that you may come across. The battle system is easy to pick up, and the RPG elements are well implemented. I had a good amount of fun figuring out which spells worked cohesively, though only one deck is allowed. Luckily, you're able to customize your deck as you please, though I would have liked the option to build backup decks and swap out one deck for the other. Black Book is a decent adventure card battling RPG experience that focuses on telling a well-written story and teaching players about Slavic mythology and folklore, which is handled with a lot of insight and respect towards the subject. As a result, it boasts undeniable charm, but it also shows a few rough edges when it comes to visual style and pacing. 
Noisy Pixel is giving Black Book a 7 out of 10. Hey, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to provide news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up to date with all of our future content. Noisy Pixel.